Okay guys, in this video we're going to learn about patterns and uh, this is where we're getting to the exciting stuff where you really start, when you get your head around strokes, how to make strokes especially, which you'll learn later, how to make patterns, which you'll learn later um, and all the sort of um, tricks in between and how you can apply them you really start to get an idea of how powerful Illustrator can be um, and how you'll be able to find your own aesthetic um, in architectural representation using Illustrator um, Alright, let's get to it so I've got the gradient object, or the object with the gradient appearance that we had uh, created before. And applying a pattern or a gradient or a fill, it's uh, all very similar. And we can access the gradients um, or fills patterns that are currently stored within our project in the swatches panel. And if you, I'll just drag this out so you can see it and it doesn't pop off the screen. I'll just get our drop down menu and uh, new swatch, new color group, all that jazz um, we already know about. Um, for creating new swatches, but I'm going to go to the open swatch library and the patterns menu uh, just as an example. I don't use many of these myself because I'm quite particular and I like to create my own patterns, but we'll deal with that later. Um, so basic graphics. I want to create a hatch instead of a gradient. Um, so what I want for, for the um, ground fill. So I will open up the basic graphics lines menu and you can see all our basic graphics up here. So I've got the uh, object selected and I can select a pattern like that. So you can imagine this would be a great pattern for floor tiling. Um, let's see if we can find a half decent one. It's a bit like wallpaper now. So that could be quite good. Well we'll go for the grid, a grid for the moment um, because it's quite an attractive pattern although it isn't conventional for um, a ground hatch. Now these aren't architectural patterns uh, so you might want to create your own patterns um, and I, I, I said before we'll show you how to do that later. Now all the patterns I clicked on, I'll just close that, there's our menu. All those patterns that I clicked on are now here and you can delete them by selecting them and clicking delete. So yes, delete this watch selection. Okay, now with the object selected you say that's great, I've got, I've got the hatch but I don't want them to be horizontal and vertical lines, I wanted to create a diamond hatched pattern and I wanted it to be a lot finer. Well, that's, that's fine. We've got the geometry, which is the basis. We can transform it like it's any other um, object. Let's go up to our object menu, transform, uh, we'll go scale. And you see in our options, we've got the option of scaling um, objects and or patterns and scale strokes and effects. I'm only going to have pattern scale here because that's all I want to scale and I'm going to scale it by 50%. And you'll see it has reduced in scale by 50% or object, transform, rotate. Again, the options, having patterns selected and typing 45 degrees, which will give us our diamond, pressing OK, and you'll see we have now a diamond hatch, which is quite fantastic. 